Congressman Zach Womp is here with us. He's going to kind of be our MC, this man. Many of you know, Zach, actually, you represent East Tennessee values and principles. It's unfortunate you're in Chattanooga. Man, we're, we need you here. Uh, many of you know Zach served in Congress for 16 years, was a leader, has been a conservative voice. Um, I had the opportunity to talk to him a few years ago, and he, he was good enough to pour into me and help me uh, when many people would not. Uh, as I mentioned, he represents our values here in East Tennessee, which are very unique. And he is a man of principle. He's a man of faith. And we're, it's awesome that we have him here. And so I'm going to introduce Congressman Zach Wong. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Zachary. Appreciate your leadership and your example. I told him just a minute ago because my son Weston is with me and he's 31 and almost became a United States Congressman a few years ago. I'm really about Jason's generation and my daughter Cody's generation and Weston's generation. And it's not an accident that in all of the current polling, the number one base of support for Bill Lee for governor is among young conservatives in Tennessee. Because young conservatives in Tennessee are going to make a difference what kind of state we are, what kind of nation we live in. And I'm most excited today about guys, Jason Zachary and Weston Womp's age, that are stepping out for Bill Lee. But let me just give some of you background because I was reminded saying hi to a few of you. A lot of you don't have no idea who I am. I've been out of office for seven and a half years. I represented the third district for 16 years. But I represented Oak Ridge and Campbell County and uh, Union County and Rome County and a lot of counties up here. So I was in and out of the Knoxville media market a whole lot. But even more importantly, I ran for governor in 2010 in the primary for eight, uh, eight years ago for 18 months. I traveled all 95 counties in an RV about exactly the size of that one right there. My family, too, gave their heart and soul to this whole process. And I know exactly where Bill and Maria Lee are right now. Emotionally, mentally, prayerfully, I know exactly where they are. The difference is Maria Lee is going to be the first lady of the great state of Tennessee. That's the difference. That's the truth. I'm here today because I've watched this campaign for 18 months. I originally planned to kind of stay out of it because, again, I'm not real politically involved. Um, I do step in sometimes when I feel really moved in my heart to do so, but I'm not that politically involved anymore. I'm really more interested in my children's future than I am mine or even people my age. But I watched this campaign, and I've seen in the Republican primary sort of a race to the bottom emerge between two of the contenders that seem to just be running against each other. And their campaigns are driven by what I call trash mouth politicians that think that the more names you can call and the more you can libel the other candidate, the better chance you have of winning. And I just got to tell y'all, I know it's not good and I'm tired of it. I'm just really tired of it. And as I said on the radio in Chattanooga this morning, we have a chance for the good guy to actually win. The good guy has gained all this, this momentum. His name is Bill Lee. And if there's a state in the nation where the good guy can win and should win, it's this state. Because this is a state of honor. This is a state of virtue. This is a state of faith. Doesn't surprise me that all my Christian and country music friends, and i got a bunch of them, are for a man named Bill Lee. They know what is right. They know what is just. They know what is best. It doesn't surprise me that farmers and plumbers and craftsmen are supporting the guy who stands for vocational education because they asked me today, what's the number one issue the governor should be focused on? And I said, it's our workforce. It's our education. It's our future. I know from recruiting a lot of industry in East Tennessee when I was in office that the number one thing we still lacked was that workforce. And it wasn't a workforce with graduate degrees, it was a workforce with vocational certificates that can actually fill the jobs that people are bringing to Tennessee. And that's what we tried to do in Chattanooga. We were very successful, but we had to catch that workforce up with training and retraining something Bill Lee has led on. But I'm drawn to this campaign because of the way it's been run. 
One of the most important things the governor does is surround themselves with the people that will run their agencies, that will run the state, that will lead this big enterprise. And frankly, that doesn't start when you're sworn in. It starts when you organize your campaign. And you can look at the people that he's associated himself with, the people that determine what kind of messaging we're going to have, the people that help you with your television and your creative. And you know that Bill Lee put together an organization of good people that are going to do the right thing because win or lose, they want what they do to honor our traditions, our state, and frankly, God. And they have, and here we are two and a half weeks away from Election Day, and all the momentum in the world is with this campaign, and it encourages my heart that this is where we are today in Tennessee, that the right person can win, that the good person that can emerge, the person that says, I'm going to just lift our state up, that I'm going to set a vision that we can be better, that we can do better, and I'm not going to run against anyone else. I'm going to run for the privilege to serve as governor of Tennessee. That's what attracted me to this campaign, and I watched it for a long time, and I thought, I just can't sit on the sidelines anymore. i got to jump in and throw whatever little bit of support I can to this guy who's done so well. There are competent people running. There are good people running from both parties. I know them all. I've had face-to-face -face conversations with all of them. But I'm going to tell you, I came up here to Farragut today, to Knox County, Tennessee, to tell you unequivocally that in the middle of a race to the bottom, there's one exception. There's one light in the middle of a dark room, and his name is Bill Lee. And ladies and gentlemen, he is the next governor of the great state of Tennessee. I welcome Bill Lee.